Today, we are using dragons with tile 12, 13, and 14. Tile 12 here is the first base. This is the one that we got. At least it's the only tile 12 that's in this actual match. And what do we want to do here? Notice we have the town hall to the top side. We have a clan castle towards the core. But when you're using dragons, the clan castle is not really your biggest threat because the dragons can kill the CC, right? So what I do notice here is we have a mortar that's far inside here, but it's also like touching some other defenses or within one tile. So one flame flinger down here can go and take out this whole bottom section. He's literally giving it all up. That's why when you can see Flame Flinger Valley, go for it. And now I can wall break up here. I can wall break again. And I can try to wall break a third time. So I can try to charge my queen into the town hall to take all this down. So if the queen can take this down, the Flame Flinger can take all this down. Now it really doesn't matter which way you go in. You could either go in this way like this, or you could go in this way like this. Really, it's depending on which queen, which way the queen goes. We'll probably, if we go with the, the dragons here, we'll probably drop our king like this to really force the dragons into the core. So, shouldn't be too difficult. Let's give it a shot here. So, let's start off with that flame flinger. I like to drop like, like an archer down here to test for giant bombs. No worries. That should be safe for the rest of this hit here. So, we drop the wall breaker. We drop the queen. Uh, at least the plan is to go continue her way in. Oh, there's another wall break. Balloon. Okay, red air bombs. The healers. Another balloon through here. And then we can drop a third wall break to really break this section through that. Let's go and rage this queen up. Let's get a freeze ready. Let's drop some balloons here to distract that single target inferno. That's hitting us like that with the Grand Warden. That means I won't have any... Okay, let's see. Freeze this. Rage up over the town hall. We'll drop the king like this. Okay, we'll have to freeze the town hall. And single again. Queen does not go there. Okay, it's fine. Queen's making her way. Oh, she does make her way back. Okay. So we'll freeze this one more time. And we'll get the dragons down because the king is tanking those air expos. So mine as well. Drop a yeti like this. As we continue our way in. So you can see how these dragons are path straight to the core. Drop a poison for this these dragons here. Rage up mine going right into the middle. Just like so. We're fine like this. Queen's ability is forced. And we'll pop the warden ability now to really protect all these dragons in the core. And you can see that flame flinger absolutely smashing the whole bottom side. Don't even have to worry about it. The queen goes down, but the queen got her value. So... That's exactly what you want to do here. I think I would put a Super Dragon inside of my Flame Flinger, which is really only to maybe deal with the CC on its own to help take it down pretty quickly. But yeah, dragons are pretty quick, so you can wait a little bit if you want in terms of when you deploy them. But you create two different sides of the funnel. One is the Queen Charge. The other one is with the King if you have, or you can use a Flame Flinger or something helps set this, the second side of the funnel to then send your dragons right on in, in between. Yep, okay, it was indeed a Super Dragon inside of that Flame Flinger. But down goes the Town Hall 13, or Town Hall 12, I should say. Yes, Town Hall 13 is next. For Town Hall 13 here, number 26, we see the Town Hall up here. This is kind of a... Not kind of. It is a very old base. I remember this from a long time ago. But notice, where are the expos? Where are the mortars? Well, we have a mortar here on the outside, which is easy to take down. Another one here, another one here. Expo here, expo here, expo, expo. Meaning this whole bottom side is not protected. But it's only protected by the Royal Champion. That's the only thing that can outrange it, so that could take your Flame Flinger down. But... I don't think that would be too big of an issue because here is the plan. I want to charge my queen up to here, right? I want to grab this whole side like this, take out the enemy queen, pull the CC, take that down, and then I can flame flinger on this side. The flame flinger this time will be used as the funnel. The king, the queen will be used as the funnel. And then the dragons can go right on in between towards the town hall like this, which means that we could use our king like this and he can run through here we can run like wall break maybe the king here he can go into here with a raw champion then following the king and they can then take out this whole bottom side while the dragons push their way through towards this this sweeper over here is gonna be the biggest threat so this is where i could use a free spell on the sweeper and the eagle to get value or if the rc ability skips 
hits it, takes it down. Not planning for it to take it down, but it can happen. So yeah, and we have one Hog Rider to pull the Clan Castle troops out early for our Queen. At least that's the plan. Do we have a Super Wall Brick? Yeah, we have two. Why two? Well, maybe to double break into here. We'll see. Depends on where the Queen goes as well. So let's go. Okay. So Town Hall 13. Let's start with a few balloons to take out this mortar. So we go, bam, take that down. And then Seeking Air Mines like that. Okay, let's drop it. Okay, that did not go down. So we have Seeking Air Mine, Seeking Air Mine. Take it down, balloons. There you go, more Seeking Air Mines. Jeez, hello. All right, let's drop the queen up here. Another balloon. I waited so long. I have to rage this queen up. Once this Tesla goes down, then I could pull out the rest of the CC with the Hog Rider. Okay. Drop you. Poison that. We take out the enemy queen through the rage. Perfect. There we go. Let's drop the baby dragon over here. Rage this queen up again. Freeze these expos. Oh, that mortar is in range. Okay. Drop you, drop a Yeti, drop a wall break, two balloons. Let's drop, pop the queen ability. King is going like that. We're gonna push our way. Let's go and try to rage up this queen. King ability, raw champ down here. Freeze the sweeper. Try to now rage into here. Freeze the town hall. Try to go like this. Oh, I probably could have wall broke that single target inferno over there. Now through the town hall explosion, hopefully. Okay, town hall exploded. There we go. Drop a minion over here. The queen's gonna die to that single, but the dragons are coming right on through towards the right side. RC and our ability will be able to help damage the single once it goes. There we go. Take that down. Take that down. Drop some minions. There was a lot of damage on the queen to the top side, but you can see how the royal champion was able to move with the king to the bottom side, so the flame flinger was very valuable to the far left, helping to set the funnel to push those dragons right on in. All about setting the funnels on two different sides for your dragon. Could be the flame flinger, could be a different siege machine, or your heroes, as long as you can get those dragons into the middle. And for town hall 14, here is the base. We've got open walls, open walls open walls this makes me think super barbarians could be a really good play but i'm gonna go dragons just to see how strong it is because if you can set the funnel on two different sides it can work really well i got three giants why i'll explain the reasoning well i want to drop the queen down here she can walk like this walk like this walk like this she'll eventually walk her way like this potentially right or maybe she walks inside here who knows right the plan is for the queen to kind of go like this take out the defensive king take out all this and take out the cc then we can drop some giants 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 king over here and then i think we have a baby dragon do we yeah so we can drop like one baby dragon yeti in assistance because of this ground expo that will lock on the king so the king can run over here right while the queen runs over here that allows my dragons to then move straight on in into here with the stone slammer to move towards the town hall once it explodes they'll go left they'll go right and then the royal champion will be used wherever kind of with the queen or with the king who knows under a certain section towards the back side so really trying to set two different sides of the final and sending the dragons in is the play here let's go for it and let's see so we will go ahead and drop the queen down south like this drop that balloon and they heal it onto you okay so the queen will just make her way slowly all right now i need to see where is she gonna go next she goes to that okay and then she should make her way right the air defense okay now i'll drop the balloon now like this okay so she's gonna make her way to the king and then are you gonna go left Queen, or are you gonna go right? You're gonna go right. Okay, so this is where we can rage. And we can drop a wizard to help potentially get through this. Poison like that. Alright, so let's drop some giants. Two balloons onto that. Let's drop a Yeti over here. Wizard onto that. King is going there. Another of you. Balloons. 
Dragon's Warden, Stone Slammer. All right, in we go. Let's move our way through. Queen's walking to the outside. Let's rage you up. Let's rage this. Okay, through the base we go. Just freeze the town hall since it's about to get activated. Okay, make it easy work. Pop that ability. And look at that. So now since we have open walls, our heroes have n just an easy path right on through the space. We can then send the Royal Champ over here. Baby Dragon like this. And yeah, very easy. You set the funnels on, on two different sides, especially if your heroes can make their way right on through. I mean, obviously, yeah, there's defenses that are very low. It's not a maxed out. Look, a 16 Royal Champion. It's not maxed out heroes, but you can see the pathing that you're trying to do. Trying to send those dragons right on into the core, right through this space, works really well. What was his, can I, I don't even, okay, I don't even know what level all their heroes were. But if you find bases like this, where it's clear cut, heroes on one side, setting the dragons on in, that's what I would recommend you definitely to do. And using that stone slammer, get a max stone slammer donated to you, as then it helps out so much. But there we go, down goes the Tunnel 14, and hopefully you enjoyed the dragons here today.